Let me maybe uh, recall that uh, on on the 8th of, uh, of October, so in fact uh, yesterday, President von der Leyen and Prime Minister Mitsotakis um, stressed together the continued urgency of the situation on the island of Lesbos and also acknowledged that more work is needed to guarantee the protection of those on the islands. And the situation there, including the, the new uh, camp that uh, has been put in place, is a temporary measure to provide urgent shelter to people who lost the, the homes following the fires. Um, we are stepping up our efforts to support the Greek government to provide adequate shelter for people ahead of winter. And in parallel, we also continue to support evacuations to the mainland uh, with so far almost 2,000 people who have been transferred uh, to the mainland since the fire. Um, and moreover, uh, the, both the president and the Greek prime minister committed to support the work of the task force that the commission created uh, which will put in place a joint pilot to manage the mi migration and asylum processes, uh, as well as setting up appropriate new facilities on Lesbos. And we are following up on this also as a matter of urgency. Um, I can uh, perhaps also refer to the fact that the Commission uh, will send um, uh, senior staff to Greece next week to discuss uh, the next steps in this respect. So, yes, we definitely care about uh, the, the people affected by the fires on, on Lesbos, and we are taking urgent steps on all levels to uh, help the Greek authorities to address this situation as a matter of urgency. Thank you. Adalbert Nicolai, you have a follow-up, I believe. have a follow-up, I believe. Yes, thank you. I mean, the UNHCR today came out with a statement saying that uh, the, the emergency facility on Lesbos, that they described the, the conditions as critical. They said there are gaps in drainage, water, sanitation, hygiene, and health services that need to be addressed without any delay, and that's the UNHCR statement today. So how is it possible that after two to three weeks that this, the, the conditions are so terrible uh, on this emergency facility that, um, that you're co-managing? Thank you. Adelbert. Uh, just a correction, we are not co-managing the, the existing facilities. We are providing uh, support to the Greek authorities in several different ways, including financial support and coordination uh, via the Union Civil Protection Mechanism of in-kind support from the member states. But it is very much the Greek authorities that uh, are managing this, uh, this uh, critical emergency situation. And I cannot really enter into operational details of uh, or operational matters, uh, because of course they're not simply details uh, of how this humanitarian emergency is managed on the ground. I, I, you know, as, as, uh, as the Commission is not managing this situation, it's very hard for me to do so. But I can perhaps just recall that uh, we had uh, about 12,000 people who found themselves in very urgent need of accommodation. And uh, the, um, the, the temporary camp that was put in place in, uh, in a very, very short uh, period of time uh, is able to accommodate 10,000 people. Now, of course, this is a temporary measure and the, the, the conditions in this camp cannot be uh, perfect uh, at all uh, in, in this temporary situation. We are very much aware of the, the difficulties there and in particular uh, relating to hygiene facilities, which uh, are, are very difficult to put in place. Uh, rapidly in this kind of situation. We continue to support Greek authorities in doing this. Of course, the situation has been uh, affected very much by the rains, which, um, which made, made it much more difficult. However, uh, also, I think it's important to note that, uh, that the, um, the, the camp was not entirely flooded. Uh, so it, it wasn't a, a question of, uh, uh, of a completely inadequate uh, design of this facility, but simply of, uh, of a situation which uh, resulted from um, the, 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 the rains. So, as I said, we will we'll continue to support the Greek authorities in, in managing the situation. And uh, in, in the meantime, uh, we, we simply do what, uh, what we can. Thank you, Adalbert. A difficult situation. The Commission is working to the best of its ability. Um, uh, and we are supporting the Greek, the Greek authorities. I think it's important to say that. Um, now, are there other questions for Adalbert today on, uh, the, on his portfolio, on the issues related to migration or home affairs? 